Welcome to the session. I'm so glad you're here. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Okay, the calves and ankles. So <laughs> your calves consist of um, your gastrocnemius, your soleus and plantaris muscles. Okay, so they are at the back of your leg, at the bottom, okay? And they really are important and play an important role in overall leg and body function. We sometimes forget the gift of walking and often are reminded when pain occurs. So it's really important that we address this area so that you've got proper movement so that your body can function and move correctly. You'll need a mat for today's lesson. Let's get ready to start. Right, we're focusing on standing up nice and tall, that string that's pulling you up towards from the crown of your head. Our chin is tucked back, shoulders up, around and down. Our rib cages are not popping out. We're tucking them in so that it's over the pelvis. Your feet are hip width apart, equal weight distribution on both feet. Your feet are sinking into the sand. The pressure points between your big toes, small toes and heels are all equal. And I want you to engage the core so that pelvic floor gets lifted up. The transverse abdominal muscle activates, so that corset muscle, or imagine that tight pair of pants that you've got to zip up. Remember, it's just a 30% contraction. It's a very slight activation. And then obviously your diaphragm, which all creates a nice, strong core connection. Okay. And I want you to keep it there. We're going to take one leg forward. So take your right leg forward. You can play around with how wide or narrow you put your feet. Okay. Your feet are both facing forward. We're going to be activating the back leg, so the calf area of the back leg. So while we're going to activate it is we're going to take both legs and we're going to push apart. Okay, so into the mat and apart. First of all, we're going to do that. So activate by doing that. Hold that activation. From there, you're going to bend that front knee. I want you to make sure you're not taking that knee over your toes and the heel's got to stay down. So just go to where you can, where you're comfortable. Release that activation and come back up. Focus on your posture. Activate, push both feet apart. Bend that front knee. Release and back up. Keep the chin tucked back. Activate. Bend, release and up. Activate. Bend, release up, last one, so activate, legs pull apart, bend that front knee, release, and back up. Good work. So remember you're holding on to something if you need to, that's absolutely fine. We're going to do the same thing now, but now I want you to focus on pushing your ball of your foot, the ball of your back foot and your toes down into the mat and away as you bend that front knee, okay? So really focusing on the toes and the ball of the foot in that left leg, the back leg. So let's activate, push legs apart, focus on pushing that ball of the foot and, and toes down, keep it there, bend the front knee, release and back up. Activate, focus on the toes and ball of your foot, bend, release and up. Going again, activate, bend, release and up. One more, activate, Bend, release, and up. Well done. We're now externally rotating the back leg, so you're turning it out slightly. Okay, so that left leg, <laughs> turning it out slightly. Once again, remember, you play around with how wide you want your legs. It's totally up to you. Okay, so legs to externally rotated. We're now going to push both feet apart and bend that front knee. Okay, so let's push apart. Activate that muscle. Bend the front knee. Take note of where you are feeling it now. Release and back up. Activate by pulling those feet apart. Keep it there as you bend the front knee. Release and back up. Activate, bend, release and up. If you need to change the position slightly, take your one leg further back. That's totally up to you. Let's do two more. Activate, bend, release and up 
One last one. Activate. Bend. Take note of what you're feeling. Release. And back up. Well done. We're changing sides now. So you're taking your left leg forward. Left leg forward, back, uh, right leg back. Both feet are facing forward. So we're going to activate. Once again, remember, you decide how wide your legs are. We're going to activate by pushing both feet apart first. So let's activate. From there, you're going to bend that front knee. Remember, don't make sure it doesn't go over your toes. Release and back up. You might find that one side is tighter than the other, and that's normal. Activate. Bend. Release. And back up. Activate. Bend. Release. Up. Let's do two more. Activate. Bend. Release. And up. Last one. Activate. Bend. Release. And up. Good work. Same movement. We're just focusing on the toes and the ball of the foot in that back leg, in the right leg. So you're really going to focus on pushing down and outwards with the ball of the foot and the toes in that right leg now as we activate. So let's activate, focus on the toes and the ball of the foot, bend, release, and up. Activate, bend, release, and up. Take note of what you're feeling. Activate, bend, release, up, two more, activate, keep the core engaged, bend, release, and up, make sure you're not sticking your chin out, focus on your posture, last one, activate, bend, release, and back up, we're now going to externally rotate that back leg, so remember we turn it out slightly, okay, front foot is facing forward, you remember you decide how wide your legs are, we're going to activate by pushing our feet down and apart again and then bending that front knee. Okay, so let's activate, feet apart. Now hold that activation, bend that front knee, take note of where you're feeling it, release and back up. Activate, pull the legs apart, bend, keep that chin tucked, release and up. Deep core engaged, activate. Bend, release, and up. Two more. Activate, bend, release, and up. Last one. Activate, bend, release, and back up. And well done. Okay, you're going to make your way down onto your mat now. We're going into downward dog position. So our hands down we're gonna lift our legs up okay bum up in the air try and get your head your so that your ears are between your hands legs are hip width apart from there we're going to push the balls of our feet into the mat and from there you keep pushing we're going to peel the heels down towards the mat release and lift back up push the balls of your feet down into the mat start lowering your heels down towards the mat release and lift back up engage push heels down release and lift up let's do one more Engage, push heels down, release, and back up. From there, I want you to do one leg at a time. So you're going to bend one knee, lift up, push the toes down, push that heel back, and back up. So we bend the left knee, we push your right foot down into the mat, and push your heel back. Back up, bend your right leg, push left foot into the ground, and heel back, and up. Now we're just going to go one at a time. Keep pushing your 
beat your toes into the mat. Two. One. And slowly lower down. Well done. We're going to stand up now, getting your chairs. Sitting on your chair. Okay, so we're sitting on our chair, sitting upright. I want you to focus on grounding those feet into the ground. Legs are hip width apart. Your posture, lengthen your spine, chin back, shoulders down, shoulder blades down towards your bum. Don't let the rib cage pop out. Rib cage over pelvis. Activate those deep core muscles. And we're gonna take our right ankle, place it over our left knee. Okay, so our ankles do this movement. So up and down, and side, inside, outside. Okay. So we're going to focus on that in and out movement now. Make sure your posture is correct. We're going to start in the shortened position. So you're going to lift up, okay? You're going to apply pressure. Your left hand is going to push against your foot to activate. And from there, you're going to resist the movement, but you're going to allow your hand to push that foot down, okay? So let's lengthen, engage your deep core, activate by pushing foot into hand and slowly lowering it keeping that activation release and back up activate slowly lower release and back up keep going activate lower that foot release and back up Take note of what you're feeling in this area. Activate. Push. Release. And back up. Last one. Activate. Slowly lower. Release. And back up. We're changing direction now. So you're going to take your hand, place it on the outside of your foot. So we're going to shorten by taking that foot down like that. We're going to push against the outside of your foot to activate, and then we're going to allow the movement to happen, but we're going to resist it. Okay. So hand on the outside of your foot. Focus on your posture, your deep core muscles. We're going to first shorten the muscle by taking the foot down. Activate. Once you feel that activation, we're going to move up allow the foot to move but resist the movement release and back down activate move up release and take it down take note of what you're feeling on this side now activate move that foot up release and down two more activate Start that movement. Keep that activation. Release. And down. One last one. Activate. Keep that movement. Release. And back down. Well done. We're changing sides now. So taking your left ankle, placing it over your right knee. Focus on grounding that right foot into the ground. Correct your posture. Engage your deep core. We're going to do that movement first okay so we start by pulling the foot up right hand on that foot the inside of your foot you gain so we're shortening it we're going to apply pressure to activate the muscle and now we're going to push it down let's go allow the movement to happen but resist it relax and back up activate push down relax and back up Activate, push down, relax, and up. Two more. Activate, push down, release, and up. Last one. Activate, push down, release, and up. Good work. I'm going to push down now. So we're doing that movement of the ankle. Okay. 
So we're placing our hands on the outside of your foot. We're starting with our foot down. We're going to activate by pushing your hand into your foot, but then we're going to allow the movement to happen, lifting up. Okay, and then releasing. So start in your shortened position, hand on the outside of your foot, focus on your posture, ground that right foot into the ground, activate, and start the movement. Keep pushing that foot down. Resist. Relax and back to start. Activate. Keep resisting as you move. Release and back down. Shorten. Activate. Resist. And release. Two more. Activate. Move. Keep that resistance. Release. And back down. Take note of what you're feeling on this side now. Last one. Activate. Move. Release. And relax. Well done. You're going to stand up now. This is a bit of a balance one. So up to you. You can use it as a balance exercise and not hold on to anything. Or you can hold on to something if you want to. So we're going to stand up straight now. Okay. Our legs are hip-width apart, your toes are facing forward. I want you to focus on your posture, chin back, shoulders down, rib cage in, and we're engaging those deep core muscles. We're going to concentrate on that equal weight distribution. So 50-50 on both feet. Imagine your feet are sinking into the sand, so your pressure points between your big toe, small toe, and the back of your, your heels are all equal. Okay, so find that position. From there, you're going to lift up onto your toes. So you can hold onto something if you want to, otherwise use it, use it as a balance exercise. From there, we're going to just shift around. So I want you to feel the calves, the back of the leg at the bottom. I want you to take note of what you're feeling. Move forward, backwards, shift around. Okay, keep going. And now you're going to tap down, lifting up again. Same thing. Focus on your posture. Activate those inner thigh muscles. Focus on your deep core muscles, that pelvic floor that's lifting up. Transverse abdominal muscle, which is acting like a corset. Or imagine that zip that you've got to zip up and then your diaphragm, all creating a nice, strong core connection. And imagine that string pulling you up towards the ceiling. Tap down and lift up again. Take note of what you are doing. Take note of what you are feeling. Shift around. And take it down. Well done. We're just standing up straight, taking a deep breath in. Exhale to relax. Deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Keep the chin tucked back. Exhale down. Roll the shoulders back. And well done.